So my name is Shweta Kanan and I'm the Director for Clinical Adoption and Change Management Services with Orion Health. So basically what the demonstration here today is to show is the interoperability between a clinical and a patient portal. Um, this patient portal is unique in the sense that it provides a view into your longitudinal patient information from the patient perspective. So it's not just information being received from one specific provider. It's from the providers, providers across the system that belong to a given health information exchange. Right? So I'm going to begin the demonstration now by logging in as a clinician that's using the HIE, the in Inland Empire HIE. And what we're going into now is our Orion Health Clinical Portal. So the first thing that we're going to do is to pull up a patient's record that we're looking at. So John Cardinal has come in and basically one of the things that we have noticed is that he is diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, which you can see here on his problem list. This is the patient summary view that you're looking at and this is longitudinal patient information. So you have different source systems of information that's coming in from various parts of the HIE. All of this information is integrated and you can see what's going on with your patient across um, a, a snapshot of time. So he comes in and he's been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and one of the things that we notice is that um, lab tests need to be ordered to check his HbA1c's. So those tests are ordered and now the, the clinician is basically speaking with the patient about what's going on with their current HbA1c's. So I'll show you a few views here of that. So we're able to pull up a panel off of the clinical portal and basically this provides us with information for his test results all the way back from 2007 and we're able to trend that over the course of a few years here with the most recent results on the 10th of July 2012. Once again you can see the source information is different so City Hospital has sent some results in and so has um, Brooks Healthcare and we're able to trend this information on a graph as well. And what you can see here now is that his HbA1c's have progressively increased in value. And this is outside of the normal range, so it's abnormally high at the moment. So a few things need to happen, and part of this is that um, we set John Cardinal onto a diabetic pathway and start actively monitoring his progress and making sure that he ha he's eating the right foods, that he's taking the right medications, that he's, you know, all of this proactive sort of health care. Um, and that's where we start interacting with the patient portal now. Now one of the first things that I'm going to do here is, over here you can see you have a publish button. I'm going to publish this information to John Cardinal's patient portal by saying publish information. And over here I say, um, please review your lab results. And I send that through to him and I'll be able to show you the view of how he receives this information as well. And as well as that, something else that I would do is um, pull up his CCD, which I can access here as well, and send that ov over to a couple of other care providers within John Cardinal's circle of care, and let them know that they have action items to follow up on with John as well. So if I say, send this information over now, pulls up an email for me and I can send it to various other people within the circle of care. So Nancy Silver is the nutritionist that's going to take care of John Cardinal as well. Now then, one more thing that I can do is um, I can go in and I can take a look at his patient summary here and see what medications he's on. And now let's just think of this as in the future. One thing that I do is I look at his medication history and I see he's on metformin, 500 milligrams, and that's been since last year in July. But what I do notice is that since his results have gone up, since his lab has gone up, I can re-prescribe the metformin and increase the dosage for him. As well as that, top up on things like his aspirin and his furosemide as well, right? All of those medications once again get stored on this one view on his longitudinal patient information. So now then, the next thing I'm going to do is to take you into the actual patient portal. And as you can see here, it's the in the Empire patient, uh, HIE patient portal. And I sign in now as John Cardinal. So all of this time we've been lo looking at the patient's information from a clinician perspective. Now we're going to look at it from the patient's perspective. 
So when I come into here, what I see is a few different things. Um, first and foremost, I can go and look at the task list over here. And this basically lets me know, now that I'm enrolled on that diabetic pathway, I have certain um, tasks that need to be filled by me as I go forward, which I can be in control of as well. So I'm not proactively waiting for somebody to let me know. I can go out and I can say, you know what, I need that diabetic nose assessment and get that set up for myself. I'm more in charge of my well-being, right? Um, I know that I need a lab test in the future and a follow-up assessment. What I can see here on my appointment list is that follow-up assessment has already been set up for me. As well as that then, if I go into my charts, I see the new information that was published for me today on the 19th of July 1246, which is when I just published it. I can pull that up and I can take a look, see the most recent HbA1c has been posted to me. So I know what my most recent lab results are. As well as that, I can go into my health library and I know now that Dr. Silver, sorry, I go into shared files, I know that Dr. Silver has posted for me some information for my diabetes management. So I can go in and I can look at that menu. So I know how to eat a little bit more healthily going forward, right? Sorry, I think I scrolled too fast. There we go. Um, other things as well, if I wanted to send a message over to my provider, I can send a message. So for example, I want to contact Joe Martin and say, um, I say I, I have the appointment notification from October to confirm that and I send that off to him. If I were to come into here on the clinical portal and just refresh this, I'll be able to see that message that was sent to me from John Cardinal. Right here. The message that was just sent over. And I can continue this dialogue with my patient and the patient can do this with the clinical provider as well. Um, just a couple of final things. This is, this is a really nice one as well. Very interesting information over here. If I wanted to add more information, so I wanted to push more information over to my provider. So I say, for example, you know, here's my nutrition for the week. This is what I've eaten for this week. I can actually upload that to my patient portal and push it over to my provider. So let me show you how we do that. So just in terms of sharing files, if I wanted to send information over to my clinician, this is how I would do it. I would add this information here. And let's just say that I want to send it over to my clinical providers. I can actually choose a file off of my own desktop. So here, for example, um, I want to send over my nutrition for the week. I can actually add that file there, put in a subject, and then send that information over to my clinician. So this way I can exchange information. I don't only receive information, I can send it over to my clinicians as well. And I can hit share here, and it goes through. I think that's about as much as I can show you today. <laughs>